In this animation, we'll be using the superposition theorem to calculate resistor voltage and current for a linear DC network. There are six steps involved when utilizing the superposition theorem. Step one is to identify all independent sources in the network. Step two is to select a single source and open all remaining current sources and short circuit all remaining voltage sources in the circuit. In step three, you will then use circuit reduction to calculate the currents for the resistors in the circuit. In step four, steps two and three are repeated for every source in the circuit. In step five, we calculate the algebraic sum of the currents resulting from each individual source to arrive at a final resultant net current for each resistor. For the last step of the process, we use Ohm's law to calculate the resistor voltages based on the net currents. We will now move on to a practical example and demonstrate the approach on a simple two-source linear DC network. In this example, we'll be examining the simple DC network shown here. In this circuit, we have three resistors, a voltage source, and a current source. Beginning with step one, we identify a single voltage source and a single current source present in this network. We will begin by calculating resistor currents resulting from the single voltage source. In the second step of the process, the current source is removed and replaced with an open circuit. We now move on to calculate the resistor currents based on this single source's presence in the circuit. Ohm's law can now be used to calculate the individual resistor currents. Note that the current for R3 is 0 milliamps for this source due to the removal of the I2 current source and the remaining open circuit in that branch of the network. We can now repeat steps 2 and 3 for the I2 current source in this network. We begin by removing and short circuiting the voltage source. We can now calculate resistor currents based on the I2 current source for this network. As we're dealing with the current source this time, we can use the current divider rule to calculate the individual resistor currents. We can now move on and combine the results of our two analysis of the network to this point. Having obtained the resistor currents for each individual source in the network, we combine the results to end up with the net resulting current for each resistor. If the individual resistor currents flow in the same direction, they are summed or added. And if they flow in the opposite direction, they are subtracted. We now know the net resulting current magnitude and direction for all points in the circuit. We can now use this information to complete the analysis. We can discern the polarity of the voltage drops across the resistors by observing the net resulting current directions. The net resistor currents are now also used to calculate the resulting voltage drops for each resistor. As has been demonstrated by this animation, the superposition theorem is a powerful tool when analyzing linear DC networks with multiple sources.